Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Of all the files on your hard drives, which ones do you want to share most with other people? Friends, colleagues, coworkers, complete strangers, potentially? Oh, sure, it's easy to email a file or upload a file and then share that way, but what if you wanted to keep directories in sync with one another? What would you do? What would you use? I have a recommendation. As a matter of fact, I got an email that I happened to print out the other day uh, from Dropbox. And if you head over to go.tagjag.com slash Dropbox, that's D-R-O-P-B-O-X, the note says, did you know that you can earn up to three gigabytes of extra space on Dropbox for free. All you need to do is invite people. Every time one of your friends installs Dropbox, we'll give you both 250 megabytes of free space. And you're thinking, well, why would I need this? Again, if you have files on your drives that you want to share with other people, but you don't want to have to go through the mess of synchronizing and uploading, blah, 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 Dropbox is an application that runs cross-platform that will allow the synchronization automatically. Yeah, that's it. I, I've got a folder that I've designated on my hard drive, or one of the drives, uh, the, the one that happens to be a hard drive, not the solid state disk. That's the other drive. And when I change a file, it automatically changes on all the other people's computers that have connected to that particular Dropbox. So now, uh, I, instead of the default two gigabyte limit, I've got five gigabytes because I invited a lot of people through go.tagjag.com slash Dropbox. You drop files in there, it synchronizes automatically, and it's running either on Windows or Mac OS X. It's easy, and it's free. And now I found out, this is something that you can do too. Once you join, you can then create your own invite link. And I mean, again, it's only good for three gigs extra, but you know, it's better than nothing. And I'm already uh, tapped out, but again, I'm, I'm sending out my particular invite link just in case they decide to say, hey, Chris, thank you for sending for other people, here's more space, because then I can synchronize even more back and forth without even having to worry about it. And this is nice for projects. Uh, we use Dropbox for Gnome Dex, uh, the, the conference that we happen to produce at least once a year at this point in time. Uh, we would upload files like uh, you know, spreadsheets, documents, uh, and, you know, like signed documents, like contracts. Uh, we would synchronize uh, what else? Oh, the, the program, when we were going back and forth on what needed to be done, what needed to be sent to the printer. Instead of managing files by email for Teams, something like Dropbox is easy because it, yeah, is facilitated over the internet, but it's integrated right here within the desktop. I, here's my, my uh, Dropbox folder on Mac OS X. I, I'm navigating it through the Finder. Yeah, that's it. And see, here's a, there's a spreadsheet or a CSV. Okay, and let's see here. We got our partners. We've got, uh, all right, this is from last year. We got some photos. And see, it'll, uh, if I change this photo, it'll automatically change on everybody else's machine that's connected to this particular Dropbox, because of course I would invite them you know, individually. I wouldn't want the world to see all this stuff, but I could make a public folder and you could connect to my Dropbox, but I'm not gonna share that because honestly, I don't think my files are all that interesting unless you're involved in one project or another. So Dropbox is one solution that's free and you can of course pay for more services attached to Dropbox but it's cross-platform and it's integrated seamlessly whether you're using Windows or Mac OS X it's just there that's why I like Dropbox that's the big reason now they're giving three gigs extra to you and if you sign up through me then even if I'm tapped out at well now five gigs total since I'm just using a free account at this point uh, you can get 250 megs extra free space Kind of neat, huh, how they do that. And that's all from the email. So email still works for communicating. Otherwise, I would have probably uh, ignored it. I wouldn't have seen it, you know, float on by. Go.tagjag.com slash Dropbox. And undoubtedly, you know of other software and services that are equally as wonderful. I have no doubt that at some point in the future, Google will do something similar since they have all the space attached to Gmail. But it's the synchronization uh, with teams and individual permissions that I think I like the most uh, about Dropbox and it just works you know it's good software and they're always keeping it up to date so my email address chris at perlo.com our community of technology enthusiasts geeks.perlo.com coupons.lockernome.com a place where you can save money then of course we've also got other websites like help.lockernome.com www.lockernome.com tagjag.com in general for searching uh, for 
stuff to buy and saving money. I like saving people money and time and sometimes the effort of having to find the stuff themselves. I also got the blog, chris.perlo.com, and that is indirectly tied into this chat room, which is a part of the live video feed that you are watching now, even though you're not a part of the live video feed unless you are. See, this, I can prove it. Okay, guys, if you're watching right now, write pancake. Now, there may be some lag between the time that I said that word and the time that the people in chat will actually write that. It's live, I told you. It's like, I, I'm, the, I'm the puppet master, and these are my little marionettes. <clears throat> We're typically talking tech, software, hardware, services, what have you, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.